Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy Qcoin's free futures grid trading bot. In addition to, I will also show you how to set up the stop loss in order to avoid being liquidated as we will be trading in the futures market. And that does mean we'll be using leverage and there is the possibility of being liquidated. However, with the stop loss that I will show you today, you can avoid getting liquidated. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates, a grid bot is made up of open limit orders, both buy and sell. And so if we take a look at the chart, you can see red lines and green lines. That is what is considered the grid. And in reality, they're really just open buy orders for the green lines and open sell orders for the red lines. And what you're looking for the price to do is when it drops and hits the buy limit orders it will then buy at a lower price and then when the price goes back up and hits the sell limit order levels it will then obviously sell for profit and so what you're looking to do is buy the dip and sell the rip back up and so that is just quick basic training on how a grid bot actually operates so let's get to actually configuring our qcoin futures grid bot and the first thing you will need to do is log into your KuCoin account. And if you do not have a KuCoin account, I will drop a link in the description down below. Now, once you have set up your KuCoin account and have funded the main account, you will actually want to transfer funds from your main account over to your trading account. And you just simply click on transfer. And in this case, I'd want to go from my main account to my trading account, select the coin you want to transfer over, and then click confirm. And now those funds would be available for you to use with your trading bot. So next, you need to go over to the tab at the top where it says trading bot trade and scroll down to where it says trading bot. Give that a click. And that will bring you over here to the KuCoin Trading Bot dashboard. There are a few different bots you can choose from. And in this case today, we will actually be choosing the Futures Grid Bot to actually deploy. So we just can click on Create a Bot. You can also download the app on your phone and configure it from your phone. But today we'll be doing this from the desktop. So I'm just going to click on Create Bot. And that will pull up the configuration part for this grid bot. And it pulls up the AI parameters first. So basically it populates everything for you. And you can either go short or long. All you would need to do is give this bot a little bit of ammo and click create. Now, I prefer to create my own parameters. So I'm going to click on customize. And now I need to select what pair I want to actually trade. And right now it's set at BTC USDT. I can click on the little arrow down and there'll be a whole list of different pairs you can choose from and you can actually sort this by volatility if you give that a click you can see the volatility from the highest on down to the lowest and generally speaking you are searching for pairs with high volatility now i don't trade crap coins there are about 20 to 30 coins that i actually trade on a daily basis and so i already have all their charts set up and if we jump over to trading view i will share with you the indicator i use to actually measure volatility based on a percentage for a specific pair. In this case, we're looking at Algo USDT over on Binance. And if you look down here at this bar chart that is in red, blue, yellow, and green, that is my recon ATR percentage. And what this indicator does is it actually measures the average true range of each candle based on a percentage. And I'm looking at the one day chart. And what I'm looking for as a possible target for a grid bot is high volatility. So the green bars would be the higher volatility, yellow would be a little bit lower, blue would obviously be lower from there, and then red is really actually just low volatility. And you can see with these red bars back in here correspond to this price action moving sideways with the very small candles and therefore there's very little volatility and again if you remember we're trying to move up and down and take out buy and sell limit orders so the more volatility we get 
the more grids we will be taking out and thus we should be producing more profit so if we move over here into where you see these green bars you can see much larger price action on a daily basis on these candles as they are going up now it's also important to understand that volatility measures both up and down so just because you have high volatility does not mean the price is going up it can also be going down but for a grid bot you want volatility going up and down in order to buy the dip and sell the rip up and so if we look back again you see this low volatility where algo is basically moving sideways with very small candles but eventually when the volatility picks up you can see the indicator starts to go from red to blue to yellow now once you start seeing yellow bars show up on your indicator that might be a opportunity to deploy a grid bot because it could be a signal that you're going to be moving into higher volatility in these green bars now with that being said even as algo moves sideways here you can see we still had pretty good volatility in comparison to this sideways motion back here because you can see the bigger bars we had bigger movement in the price or in the average true range for these candles and so right now algo would be a decent candidate to deploy a grid bot on and something else i like to see for a grid bot is this choppy movement between two different levels we've got a high of around 260 and we've got a low of around 130 the price is basically bouncing very nicely between that range and therefore we're getting lots of opportunities to buy dips and sell moves up buy a dip sell the move up that is how a grid bot produces profit now today i will be deploying my grid bot on btc and as you can see the average true range is in the green bars or in the higher percentages so we should get plenty of action on these daily candles and right now bitcoin selling off could find support around this 786 level however i will be putting my lower level down here at previous support and that's something when i'm configuring my own grids i usually have the lower limit around a support level and then i will have my higher limit up around a resistance level so i will have my lower limit back here around this 39,000, where we see pretty good support and i will have my upper limit around resistance where this price actually broke down around 61,000 and was unable to get back above somewhere between 60 to 61,000 there's quite a bit of resistance and so that is how I determine upper and lower levels for my grid bots it's all based on support and resistance and again I want to see volatility between those upper and lower levels and we're definitely seeing decent volatility currently in the Bitcoin price now i need to choose whether i want to go long or short i'm still somewhat bullish on bitcoin so i am going to go long i'm looking for this price action basically to consolidate for the next couple weeks between that 39,000 and that 61,000 level with the potential of eventually breaking out towards the top side however there is always the possibility it could break down and that is why i will be using a stop loss and if you've watched enough of my videos in the past you know i like to use a stop loss it's my belief that not using a stop loss when trading is like going into battle without armor eventually you're gonna get killed so now i'm ready to set up my price range and as i mentioned i want my lower price to be around that 39,000 level and in this case i'm going to give the price action a little room to maneuver so i'm going to set it at 37,000 and then on the high side we are looking at 61,000. however i do want to give the price a little bit of room to maneuver and so we'll go with 62,000. now because we are trading futures we have the option to adjust our leverage and right now it's set at 2x and as we move on we'll see how that affects like our liquidation levels our grid percentages so the next parameter i need to set up would be the number of placed orders and i'm going to go for 49 grids which would be an interval of basically 510 usdt so there'll be a grid every 510 usdt in either direction 
And that would give me a profit per grid after the fee of 0.06% of 1.4% to 2.5%. Now I need to give the bot some ammo or the investment or margin amount. And this is the amount that I have at risk. My margin amount is the amount that I have at actual risk. And the minimum it currently wants is 1300 and I only have 700 USDT, so I am going to have to bump up my leverage in order for my parameters to actually work. So if I click on the leverage 2x up here and take that to 4x, you can see that now the minimum amount of margin or funds that I need to give this bot is 650 USDT. However, I'm going to give it the full 700 USDT I have available. And now that puts my estimated liquidation price at 32,000. Down here at the bottom, you can see the estimated liquidation price is 32,000. So now I need to click on the advanced setting options and set up my stop loss price. And so the way this stop price actually works is you're basically setting up the minimum price you're willing to sell the base currency. In this case, the base currency is BTC. And when that price is hit, basically this bot will stop and automatically sell out all of the BTC contracts that I hold. And so I can toggle that on by the little button over here and put in my stop loss amount and i'm going to set that at 35,000 usdt and so you might be wondering why i chose 35,000 usdt first of all i don't want to get liquidated getting liquidated means your entire amount of your funds are wiped out in addition to you have liquidation fees in many cases and I don't want to pay any extra fees and certainly don't want all my funds wiped out. And by choosing 35,000 USDT, I'm basically putting at risk 74% of my 700 USDT. Still pretty much all of it, but at the end of the day, I will still have a little ammo left over to perhaps add to a new bot. Now my take profit price, I will not be configuring that today. And then the entry price, again, I'm not going to configure that, but that basically allows you to choose the price when it is actually hit to then deploy the bot once that price is met. I'm going to deploy the bot right now where it's looking like we're at around 47.5. And so to quickly recap, I've chosen BTC, USDT as my pair. I'm going long. The price range is 37,000 on the low, 62,000 on the high. I have a total of 49 grids, which is an interval of every 510 USDT. Uh, my profit per grid after fees is 2.83% to around 5% per grid. And then my total amount of ammo I gave this bot is 700 USDT with a liquidation price of 32,000 essentially. And I have my stop price set at 35,000. I always want my stop price higher than my liquidation price. Some people will go as low as 5%. I typically shoot for around 25%. And now all that is left to do is click create long. And now you receive a alert to let you know of your liquidation risk. I got it. I click got it. And so now the order confirmation just recaps all of the parameters we set up. Click confirm. And now the bot is live and executing trades. So that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do a profit update for this bot in the near future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Qcoin in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video. Thank you.